Now we'll run through systems and components that are mounted in the center aft bilge. On the forward bulkhead in this center aft bilge compartment, we have three mercury fuel water separators. They're fed from the main tank with an isolation valve that allows you to shut the flow of fuel off if you ever want to change the filters or have a need to stop the flow of fuel. On the starboard side and in the center aft portion of this area, you'll see three mercury power steering pumps. These are the pumps that are used for the mercury JPO system, the joystick piloting option. In the bottom, on the starboard side of this compartment, you'll see a, a seacock that has a hose that runs to a raw water filter. This is the generator intake. It's a one inch on the way into the raw water filter and a three quarter inch on the way out. That's what feeds the generator. It's raw water cooling. Inboard, there's another seacock. This is a three quarter inch seacock. It's just off the center line on the starboard side. This is what feeds the sea keeper. The sea keeper also has a raw water filter. Just to the port side of the raw water filter for the sea keeper, you have a rule bait well pump. This bait well pump feeds the bait well water to the bait well compartment that's on the starboard corner in the aft cockpit. Moving back on the center line, we have two Sea Flow 2000 gallon per hour bilge pumps with their automatic switches. Just behind that is another Sea Flow automatic float switch which acts as the bilge alarm. On port and starboard side of the main stringers, we have the Lavorsi trim tab pumps. These are self tending and really don't require any maintenance. It's a good idea to have them looked at when you're uh, getting your boat serviced to make sure the fluid level is correct. All the way in the back of this compartment is a whale universal pump. This is the pump that gives you your raw water wash down. There's a filter on it that needs to be checked for growth or seaweed occasionally. You'll see it has a clear plastic bowl, it spins off. Just need to be sure if you ever do take it apart that it goes back together and seats properly. The large hatch that opens in the aft cockpit on the center line is the area that houses the generator, the sea keeper, three engine batteries, the house battery, the electronics for the sea zone, the remote battery switches, terminal strips for the electrical connections throughout the boat, and the fireboy system that protects it all. On the starboard side of the cockpit, we have a good size fish box. This can be used to store fenders, lines, or any other accessories that you may want to keep in there. There's a macerator pump that is connected to this, so if water should get in there, you'll be able to drain it using the macerator button on the 20 position switch panel at the helm. The port side bilge compartment that's just forward of the ladder hatch has the diesel fuel tank, a discharge port, that goes through the bottom, a seacock that carries the exhaust water from the generator. The gases for the exhaust go through the muffler and out through the stern. There's also the diesel fuel filter with an isolation valve that shuts the flow of diesel fuel off to this filter are located on the bulkhead that's just inside the hatch combing. 